Hey guys, it's Chris, the Tennessee Picker, here with you this afternoon, and I'm here to show you this Winchester Model 70, chambered in 300 Win Mag. It is a very nice gun. It's got a little wear on it here and there on the surface throughout, but I just want to kind of kind of go over this gun with you a little bit. You can see the muzzle, and then I want you to see some of the surface stuff we got going on here real light this is kindly down the barrel as you can see stock got a little bit of wear on it you see here got a little bit of rust in a few spots and I'll show you what they look like here is a famous Simmons white tail scope I believe this is a 4x32, I think, that we've got on here. But it does have weaver bases that I can tell. And it, I think those are weaver rings. So they're not cheap mounts, and they're nice. But if you decide to put another scope on here, and get me focused in here. If you decide to put another scope, you've got your rings and bases already in place. You see this is a 32 millimeter here. So you still have plenty of gap for a 40, 44 millimeter scope, easy, without changing the rings, okay? See a little wear on the handle here. Let's see, you take a look at the trigger. Trigger pull is good on this. I would say it's probably around five, six pounds, somewhere in there, I could be wrong, four pounds. I don't have a scale yet, but I will be getting one of those very soon. Here are some of the uh, just wear marks on the synthetic stock. You can't hurt this, okay? This is made to go in the woods and get wet and get a little rusty here and there. That's what this rifle's for. A little bit of rust here on the back swivel, as you can see. There we go. All right, so I'm doing this one-handed, so you're gonna have to kindly bear with me. Let me show you the other side of the rifle and then I want to pull the action back and let you listen to it let you see what I see if I can okay there we go this one's got the bolt side so kind of lean her up a little bit keep her safe all right see some wear here on the stock um, this this may be cosmetically have some issues but this is a shooter it's a it's a shooting rifle this is was made to take in the woods that's what the previous owner did with it a little bit a um, few rough spots here and there from that Let's see if I can get in close on this one here Let's see if I can get it focused go the other direction there we go little little spot there Trying to get her focused in for you. Guys, that doesn't hurt anything. If you want to shoot her, a gun that's ready to go in the woods and get wet and nasty, muddy maybe, then you got one right here. It's a Winchester. Probably the most impressive thing about this, this gun to me is the action. It feels just like a Winchester action to me. A little down the barrel so you can see what's going on with the surface stuff. There are no sights. Let's see what we can do one-handed here. Go easy here. There we go. Now this is what I want to get to. I want to try to let you see and hear what's going on when you pull this bolt back. Okay, clicks nicely, draws back nice and kind of, not stiff, but with enough friction that you feel that it was made well. You pull that back, let's try it again.
good sounds. The thing I like here is that it locks up really good and tight when you close the bolt. For a gun like this, sometimes you just gotta check them out and see what you, you know, you're not sure what to expect. This one here is solid, okay? It locks up tight when you turn that bolt downward. Hear that? And you can feel it uh, going into place. Uh, safety mechanism here is good and tight. They click. Uh, each click is very d distinct, it's very crisp, and it works. So I just want to let you know, don't believe there's any kind of functioning issues with this gun whatsoever. I believe it would make you a good shooter and a good hunter if you use it if you use it the way it's intended to be used. And that's to go out and shoot it and use it. Chase a deer with it. Be a good shooter for you. So Winchester Model 70 and 300 Win Mag. This Tennessee Picker. Thank you.